is which is coming up to almost a thousand. So if you want some cuteness in your life, go and check out Astra on Twitter. Become a common useful feature. I have very strong peach. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's um, a useful feature. It sounds like it's going to cause more problems for people who don't quite maybe understand what that is. I think that their product's at fault, which is not fun. Yeah, there is an Astra command. I know. I think. I think it might have been Aflaf. Hey, Sunny D. It is cake. I am glad that it's starting to look like cake now. <laughs> For a little while, we were not sure. It looked a bit like marshmallows, then it looked like cheese, and now it's starting to look a bit more like cake. But yeah, how you doing, Sunny D? Good to see you. My dream is work from home. You live in the dream. I know. I'm very, very grateful that I am, um, that I'm able to work from home. I work from the office two days a week and work from the home three days a week. So I still get to um, kind of get that balance, you know? Uh, hey, Mrs. Tori, how are you doing? Um... I was watching a, uh, watching a stream a couple of days ago, and the net and the net went down for a couple a uh, couple of minutes. I think it was the whole country. Wow, yeesh. This is cozy. Cake has their own channel. I mean, Kate doesn't actually have her own channel. <laughs> Kate doesn't do the streamings. It's not wholesome. Uh, no, he's cute. Not necessarily wholesome. And there was one of those Japanese rice cake things. Yeah, it did kind of look a bit like a mochi at the beginning. And then it kind of looked like a bao bun. It's looked like various food items. So I'm glad it still looks like food. Just lots of different foods. Pretty sure Aflaf's doing, yeah. <laughs> I was uh, I was pretty sure it was Aflaf, but I wanted to double check. I wanted to make sure that the right person got referenced, you know? Kate does a stream, but does have a channel. That is true. That is very true. We do all have channels. It's just whether we use them or not. Yeah, good to see you, Mrs. Tori. Also, it was cold last night. Oosh. Yeah, it wasn't too bad around here. I'm still feeling a little chilly, but... Can take cute, but not wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sideways, maybe Pac-Man. Yeah. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Context called fuzzy a pet a, it, yeah yeah let's I'm, I'm gonna try not saying that out loud just because but yes uh yeah she loves you but also you're a pedant minus 13 oof yeah mama lee lives out in uh in rural pa and uh i always say rural pa like i feel the need to point out the fact that you're not living like you know, in, in Pittsburgh or somewhere like that. Ending in half an hour or one and a half hours? Uh, half an hour, my dude. And then tomorrow I'm on an hour earlier than usual. I can't believe it's gone so quickly, folks. Thank you, everyone, for being here. This has been incredible. <laughs> I say this is a Scott sod that. <laughs> what, the, uh, the temperature? Oosh. Yeah, it's a little bit cold out there. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that we, uh, that we cover this. Last night at 1am was minus 17, minus 27 Celsius. Oof. Yeah, folks, stay, stay warm or stay at optimum temperature wherever you are, because I know that we have folks in Oz who are going through their sort of summery times at the moment. So it's a little bit warmer over in Oz right now. Up in New Hampshire, it's hitting minus 73. How the heck? Definitely Celsius, right? I don't even know what the... Yeah, I, I... I, What the heck? How are people surviving in that? That's... I don't even know. Nova Scotia's minus 40. Arctic blood. Oof, 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 oof. Let's hope everyone is safe and well and staying... Yeah, staying cosy. Staying warm, having a bath. Yes, I love a bath. Mentioned on our weather broadcast, it was so exceptional. Unthinkable, yeah. 
what the heck? Yeah, how are they surviving? Yeah, it's just... Carefully and with effort, yeah. I mean, you have to, but... Yeah, I think... You know, your brain's just like... I can't even imagine how cold that is. I don't think... I don't think your brain would work. Yeah. It's crazy. 36 degrees with 90% humidity. Ah, yeah, I did say it was warm in, uh, warm in Oz at the moment. Oof. So wild, isn't it, when you think about, like, the different temperatures. Well, just the different seasons, depending on where you are in the world, that are happening at the same time. People are very adaptable. This is true. This is absolutely true. But I think a lot of people, just when they read that, they're like, no. <laughs> just no. The entire northeast summer Canada and southern Midwest is being slammed. That's wild. But yeah, love to anyone who's going through all of that. That's a lot. It's a race. Which will come first? End of stream or me falling asleep again? I'm going to say you falling asleep, old man. <laughs> Trying to keep in track. Luke is actually younger than me, but he's just a grumpy old man, so. <laughs> News said they're getting ice ice quakes? I haven't even heard of an ice quake. Like I've led such a sheltered existence. I, I've dealt with a bit of snow and a bit of rain over my life. And a hurricane that we still talk about to this day, because, uh... <laughs> or a sto the storm of 86. Anyone of that kind of age in the UK will uh, remember the storm of 86, which we still talk about, which kind of shows how unexciting our weather is, usually. If you throw out cold water into the air, does it freeze in those temperatures? I'm guessing so. I've seen, I saw a video the other day of someone like running their hose and the water was coming out in like little, like little chunks. It was crazy. Like perfectly. Yeah, storm of 86, snows of 87. Yeah, so I can remember the storm. So I would have been like four or five at the time, I think. Very, very little of my child, I remember the storm of 86. It's wild, isn't it? Like I remember standing in my parents' hallway. I can picture it so clearly. Standing in my parents' hallway, and it was when they had a solid door rather than like the glass fronted door that they have now. And they had windows down the side, and I remember standing in the hallway and it was sort of getting dark, and then the lightning went and it lit up the entire hallway because it was so, so bright. And trying to stay awake, you're doing this! Uh, what storm? The weather forecast said nothing to worry about, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're all like, nah, it's, it's fine. And that's kind of the funny bit, not funny bit, but that's kind of the, uh, the bit that that gets uh, mentioned as well is that the uh, the weather forecasters and the weather people on the TV were just like, nah, there's no storm. <laughs> We've had a few calls of people worried about a storm. There's nothing to worry about. It's fine. Vaguely remember the snowy day of nineteen, snowy Christmas day of nineteen seventy six. I was five. Yeah, that's that's one of those days where they're just like, um, you know, that was the last time that we had snow on Christmas day in like whichever part of the country. Storm of 86, that is plain as my hair was always a mess. <laughs> Early signs, I was totally neurotypical, spent most of it sleeping under the dog, under the dog in the dog's bed. That's kind of adorable. The most beautiful sounds in nature is when the ice is singing. What? I want to hear that. When I lived on the Isle of Sheppey, there, also, uh, there was also the occasional super high tides that went over the seawall defences and flooded the high street and well into the island. Wow. Uh, we have a 6,200 foot mountain here, farther up north that the temperatures were minus 42 Celsius with 101 mile an hour winds, making the wind chill minus 73. Ooh! That would just cut, it just feel like it would cut right through you, wouldn't it? Well, the forecast, it's gone rain, yeah. <laughs> uh, nearly finished my first needle felting project, a little blue mushroom sitting on a grassy sphere. Oh, clown, that sounds gorgeous. How did you find it? Did you enjoy it? Something you'd do again? We just moved into a new home and that storm hit. The beautiful big trees around here got really... F oh, I'm sad. Yeah, there were a few trees that came down, I think. Um, I think I remember... Yeah, a lot of the trees around my parents' area came down. A lot of fences as well. It's always the fence. Uh, I'm gonna go. Happy anniversary! I hope the cream felt cake turned out super well. Oh, no worries, no cool, not calling. Thank you so much for being here. It's really lovely to have you here with us. Don't leave us so long next time. Go see if go see your uh, your name popping up in here. But I hope that I hope that the rest of your day goes awesome. 
Uh, Bill Giles, who was in charge of the Met Office at the time of the hurricane, made Michael Fish take the fall. Bill was apparently a massive bully. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that drama. Ice creaking noises, kind of pinging noises. Mm. Food's almost done. Ooh, what are you having, Green? Weather observatory up there. It's people living all year to observe the weather. Wow. They have those in, um, they have like research stations in really unusual places like that, don't they? News was saying those temperatures are instant frostbite. That's oof, oof, oof. Yeah, it just worries me because I'm like, I want everybody to be okay. Seven Oaks almost had to change its name. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. We were like, Two Oaks, Three Oaks. I love when the canal froze over and I could skim pebbles across it. Ooh, I bet it makes like a choo -choo 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 noise. I can't even do it properly. Most extreme weather in the US happens up on that mountain. That's wild. Maybe there's like a wizard that lives up there. I like the thought of that. Fun Bob fact. Uh, Bob is Bob. Bob is Robert. Named for my eldest uncle who desperately wanted a son, been blessed with multiple daughters who he adored. In typical me and my dad fashion, he wasn't going to miss an opportunity to take the mick. So the dog he got for a couple of years before me it also, was also named for my uncle. <laughs> oh, I love that. Little Bob facts. I uh, actually really liked it. Cool. Uh, my local craft shop is closing down, grabbing basically anything I've been slightly interested in, rip my bank account. Yup. But hey, like, for the most part, I mean, obviously, depending on what the craft is, for the most part, um, craft supplies do not expire. Unless you're talking, you know, like, open paints or uh, clay or things like that. Like, you know, anything like this is, is not really going to expire. So you've got time. You can see that I am a total enabler when it comes to doing crafting. I'm like, do it. Ice singing. Oh, thank you, Isla. Cashew cauliflower. Oh, yes, of course. Cashew cauliflower pasta bait thing. Yes. I kind of want some. I'm going to come down and come and hang out and have some. Where's Robert? Under Robert. <laughs> I kind of love just the thought of you little, a little bulb with a little Robert. Bob's dad's a Bob, we named you after the dog. 